Hi, it's Chester Tuggle at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the VBA code needed to filter an Excel table using AND criteria. Now, I've started the sub-procedure for you. Uh, I've declared a couple of variables, uh, one for the worksheet, which points to the active sheet, and the other for the table that uh, we're working in, that we're filtering in, declared it as a list object, and then that's a collection, and I can refer to the table that I want to filter in. It's called transactions. You can see up here, this table's called transactions. Okay, so this is just gonna make the actual code that filters a little bit more simplified, because I can use those variables within it. So, here we go. So I'm going to start with a with statement because there's going to be more than one criteria that I want to apply. Actually, I've said that. We'll come on to the with statement later. Let's just do uh, and criteria on one field. So what we're going to say is we're going to refer to the range property of our table and then to the auto filter method. Now the auto filter method has a number of parameters. Um, first of all, we need to specify with the field parameter, which field we want to perform the filter on. Now that's a position within the table. And we're gonna do this on transaction value, which is the fifth column. So I'll just put a five in there, comma, separate the parameters. Then I'm going to specify my first criteria, criteria one, so that's the second parameter. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to say show transaction values between 5,000 and 6,000. So in speech marks, I can put in that criteria. And then I have to put in my filter operator. I can use the operator parameter for that. And that's going to be Excel and. Then I can use criteria two. And that's going to be um, less than or equal to 6,000. Okay. Oh, I didn't put a comma in there. Let's put a comma in there, otherwise that won't work. So. Yeah, comma to separate each parameter within the method, the auto filter method. Right, so let's run this then and see if it's worked. Yep, yeah, so I've got values there between 5,000 and 6,000. Now, often when you're running AND criteria, okay, you've got AND criteria on the same field, but you'd also want to think about applying AND criteria across multiple fields. So this is where we're going to use the with statement. So I'm going to say with table range, and then I'll bring this down onto a new line. And I'll put end within in case I forget. So what we're going to do here is we've got this uh, filter already applied, but we want to apply another one. So I can use the auto filter method again on the same range because I'm using the with statement. And this time I'm going to specify a different field. So on this one, I'm going to say I'm only interested in store 13. So I want those two records showing. So the store ID is the fourth column and the criteria Criteria one, we only need one criteria for this. It's going to be equal to 13. Okay, so there we are. So we've got AND criteria within the same field, but you've also got AND criteria across fields. Okay, let's see if this works. And there we have it, I've got the two records that I'm after. Okay, that's all this video is set out to do. Applying AND criteria to a filter 
on an Excel table. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Thanks very much for listening.